So now looking at the price section of Unit 1 and the marketing mix, and you need to be able to describe the relationship between price and demand. Um, so let's get into that. So some key terms, demand being the quantity that consumers are willing and able to buy at the current price level. So this is how much of a product they're willing to buy and able as well, uh, so they can afford it at various different prices. So to make this a little bit more simple to understand, I use the example of um, sandwiches in my class and uh, I think that day that I was teaching it, it was um, turkey sandwiches um, on the menu at Subway. So if we get um, uh, different prices and uh, I asked my students how many um, they would purchase or how many of them would be willing to purchase the sandwich for these various prices and it's always the same sandwich I'm looking at when I'm altering the price you usually get a pattern that looks a little bit like this so at a very high price you don't get many people wanting to buy the product and if you give away the product for free then lots of people tend to want it as long as it's you know always the same product that we're looking at I always get one student that says oh but what's wrong with it if the price is zero I say nothing it's still the same product so if we put that into a diagram where we've got price up the vertical axis here and then we've got the quantity demanded here, the relationship we see between the price and the quantity is that when there's a high price, there's quite a low quantity demanded and when there's a, a low price, there's a high quantity demanded. So this is what we call an inverse relationship. So what trend you see in the data and the graph that we have this downward sloping demand curve is an inverse relationship. And you might think, well, why doesn't the business just set the price really, really low? Because that's when you actually attract the most customers. We can see that most customers are attracted when you actually set the price at zero. Um, so let's have a look at how we calculate revenue um, now. And this is an important section for the finance part of the course as well. So the calculation um, of revenue is just the price times the quantity. Um, so if we um, set the price at five pounds, we don't get anybody wanting the product. So we, we raise zero revenue. Uh, and then if I go so on and so on, you get this data. Um, so actually we see that if we set the price at three pounds or at two pounds, that's where our revenue is going to be maximized. And most businesses aim to make the most profit that they can. And part of that is making sure that your revenue is as high as it could possibly be. So another factor to look at when we're looking at pricing is, well, what really determines uh, the price that the business sells for. Now we, we do a lot more detail on this in unit two when we look at different pricing strategies, but this is just a, an overview. So costs of production are gonna determine the price a little bit because you don't want to sell a product for a price that's below how much it's cost you to make because then you'll be making a loss. Um, some businesses do this in the short run as a strategy to try and generate customers but in the long run if you do that you're not going to make any money you're not going to be able to survive uh, you might want to look at the prices charged by competitors as well because if you've got a very similar product to your competitors and they're charging a cheaper price why would customers come to you to buy the product unless you've got something different and unique about that product that's worth paying that extra price customers are just going to go to the competitors um, you also need to look at how much your customers uh, that you're targeting can afford um, because if you're targeting um, maybe younger consumers, teenagers, they're not going to have very much disposable income, especially, you know, the younger the, uh, the people are, you know, your 12, your 13 year olds. Um, so you're going to have to have quite a low price um, for them. Uh, you might have a certain amount of profit in mind that you want to generate, so that might determine how much the price is. Um, and it might come down to strategy. Now, we do look at strategy when um, or pricing techniques when we look at unit two. So that's all the penetration pricing, price skimming, um, loss leader, uh, pricing, competitive pricing, cost plus pricing, those things. But if you're if you're introducing a new product to the market you might want to set a really low price to attract customers to buy your product so that might be one of the reasons that you um, set the price the way that you do and those are the specification objectives as well